10, the fire chief of Galveston, Texas, ranks Ike a 10. And many of the evacuated will return in the coming days to heavily damaged homes. Real estate expert Danny Babb is here to talk more about what they will face. Danny, good morning. Good morning. The governor of Texas says $100 billion in damage. This could be the costliest uh, natural disaster in U.S. history. Uh, the Homeland Security Secretary Michael Chertoff said 100,000 homes could be flooded. Right. What should homeowners expect? Homeowners should expect the unexpected when they return turn home truly. We don't know what they're going to find when they get home. It really depends on how hardly hit their area was. It could be significant flooding. They need to check for utilities. They need to check to see if the gas and propane is working. They need to check for obvious water damage inside and outside the home. They need to do a very thorough inspection. And that inspection is important because when it comes to filing an insurance claim, right? Right, an insurance claim. And it even, whether, even if you're a tenant, a renter, you really need to document everything that happened with pictures if possible and get that to your landlord. I imagine a lot of people after this disaster are going to be relocated looking at their insurance because not that many yeah. people have flood insurance, right? That's right. Flood insurance and homeowner insur insurance are two separate things. They're almost always excluded from policies and not a lot of people realize that. Um, also, if you're if you're a landlord, you need to take responsibility and prepare your tenants. Um, and the LPA.com has an excellent checklist that people can use to um, to really go through and prepare for the next one. So let's talk about that. You return mm -hmm. back to your home. You probably don't have power on. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're already talking about close to two million people don't have power. Yeah. How do you specifically document that damage? Well, you need to to keep a, a written list, obviously, um, and then I always recommend they use pictures um, because, for example, if you have a month before the insurance can, company can come out to your home, you're incurring a lot of costs in that month. You may have mm -hmm. hotel stays, you may have a food costs that you would not have had. A lot of that is reimbursable, but only if you keep track of the expenses. And then finally, what does it do to the real estate market? Well, in the short term, we know that it doesn't really drop price, but it does drop drop off on demand on the demand side, which obviously affects price over the long term. However, we know that over a period of but between three to six months, real estate in hurricane areas does recover, and uh, we see price stabilized back to before it was how it was before the hurricane. Yeah, this yeah. is tough. I mean, I can't imagine a hundred thousand homes they're talking about being flooded. This is really difficult for a lot of people. Danny Babb, Absolutely. great to talk to you. Thanks so much. Thank you. And our continuing coverage of hurricane.